The fall of 1979 saw the debut of a new style of computer magazine. The brainchild of Robert Locke and Len Lindsay, it was published by Small System Services, a new publisher of computer books and magazines. This magazine would replace the existing Pet Gazette and go on to influence millions of enthusiasts and define a generation and would be known simply as Compute. At the start, Compute focused on computers running the 6502 processor, which is what the Commodore Business Machine's PET used, the main audience of its predecessor, the PET Gazette. January of 1980 saw issue number two hit the stands, and by the end of the year, they were up to an issue every two months. By specializing on the 6502, they opened up their market to other computers that used this processor at the time, the VIC-20, Atari 400 and 800, and the Apple II Plus, among many others. Their covers had gone from simple two-color drawings to complex designs that were suitable to hang on a wall. Issue number seven saw an additional change to the masthead with the inclusion of the exclamation point in the magazine name. By January of 1981, the size of the magazine had increased from 108 pages of the premiere issue to 152 pages and the price from $2 to $2.50. On the cover, they proudly proclaimed that they were the 6502 resource magazine. The December 1981 issue changed slightly stating they were the resource magazine for the CBM slash PET, Apple, Atari, and OSI, eliminating the mention of the 6502. By March of 1982, this too was removed from the cover. Compute was still focused mainly on their core systems, Commodore, Apple, and Atari. They now included many type and programs for these machines in each issue, from simple utilities to complex games and productivity software. Most were written in BASIC and submitted by readers, and some included machine language routines for speed. By the end of 1982, there was a change on the horizon for compute. 